The plan for South Africa coming into this World Cup was to have um, a full, fully fit pace attack. I mean, you, you, you're kind of last man standing in that, and you're going to face a, a West Indies team that I guess is uh, a fully fit pace attack. I mean, is, is a bit of jealousy, I guess, <laughs> that they've got, they're coming in looking so fit and firing when I guess that could have been your plan? Um, I wouldn't say it's jealousy. Um, I think that we have to deal with what we have. Uh, there's no point in complaining about it. Um, unfortunately, you know, uh, we've had quite a few problems in this uh, tournament regarding injury. Um, so we've had to work our way around it and we're going to have to work our way around it for the next game. There's no point in complaining. Um, Kajisa, in, in that last game against India, um, you um, at the start they really seemed to discover some fire and um, real passion. Um, where did that come from and do you feel that that's sort of sustainable, that you can reproduce that same sort of form tomorrow? Well, it's a big stage. The World Cup is a big stage. Playing against India is a big stage and we had just lost two games on the bounce and there was a lot of uh, emphasis on that game you know it's a game that uh, I really hoped that we would win um, there was a lot on that on that game it was a game that uh, we really wanted to win it was going to give us some breathing space um, so now we've just got a, a stiff challenge ahead of us and uh, we're ready we're ready to, to stand up <coughs> rise up to it so um, still with that game, I'm sure the result didn't go South Africa's way, but I think there were signs there that, you know, the team was awakening, if you like. Did, did you get that feeling as well, that that, that could be still the, the turnaround game at this World Cup? Um, I hope so. We're very hopeful. Um, I think we've played two of the best teams in the world. Bangladesh, we felt that we might have been a bit complacent. We talked about it. Um, but we played England uh, where actually we felt that we really could have won that game. Um, uh, India, you know, we took it right to the death. But I think that's just in our DNA uh, as South Africans, the way we play our cricket. You know, we're always there. If you look at how we play our cricket, we, we never give up. So is it, we just need a few things to click. Um, and. Uh, we, we're working our, work, working our way around it, um, and so we're looking to turn it around tomorrow. And Kaji, a few of us have been checking the weather report for, for Monday every hour. Um, is that something you guys have paid any attention to? It's obviously not looking too great. Um, does that play on your mind in the preparation? Um, yes, and the, there's been you know, small talks, not big talks about the weather. Uh, again, it's an uncontrollable... Uh, Whatever God decides to do, he'll do. But we're just going to control what we, we can control. KG, when you, you're playing against a West Indian side that looks like the way they, they bat is just it's go and attack and attack and attack. How do you approach a batting lineup like that in terms of your plans? And how do you, do you stay patient or do you, you go full tilt as well? Um, yeah, we've done our analysis already. Uh, we've... We've you know, put our plans in place. Um, so today is just about um, executing it um, or practicing it to make sure that we execute our plans. West Indies is a dangerous team. Um, when they get going, they can you know, really hurt the opposition. So we are aware of, the, of that threat, um, but we believe that you know, we, we, can, we, can, we can beat them. KJ, can you just talk a little bit about uh, the World Cup experience for you personally? And I mean, it must have been really exciting to come to a big tournament, but obviously things uh, haven't gone according to plan. What has that been like for you? Yeah, it's been very interesting. Um, there's a lot been happening off the field. Um, so it's just a bit of a weird stage in, you know, in terms of, you know, the pro tiers, Cricket South Africa. Um, uh, you've got youngsters that are coming in. Um, you've got guys who don't have much experience coming in, and you've got guys who are on the, you know, toward the nearing uh, 
the, the, the they're approaching the end of their careers. So it's a bit of a you know a mix in that regard. Um, we, we've been we've been playing good cricket, so we hopefully in this tournament we can do more of the same. Um, it's been yeah, there's been just there's just been a lot happening off the field, and um, we're just looking to to clear that out of our heads. Uh, but it's been enjoyable. Uh, I think the tournament has been well run. Um, traveling from venue to venue, playing against the world's best. It's exciting. This is what you want. So it, it has been enjoyable and it has come with its challenges in terms of our team. Um, but the journey continues. Kakhiso, um, when you initially heard at, uh, at camp in, in Cape Town that AB um, expressed his desire to, to, to come play in the World Cup, what were your initial thoughts and um, what were your emotions like in the team hearing that? Um, to be honest, I don't know much what's happening, so I'll, I don't want to talk about things that I don't know. Yeah. Um, KG, in the tournament so far, we've had um, Jofra Archer, Mitchell Stark, Jasper Brumra, that they've all produced sort of... Um, really dramatic spells of bowling. Ha, has that um, put any pressure on you? In, you know, that, has that given you extra motivation? I mean, with, with a bit more luck, maybe your spell against India in the morning there could have reaped similar re results. Um, I think they're, they're all phenomenal bowlers. Um, I admire watching other bowlers bowl. Um, I think it's, it's nice to see other people do well, not against us though. Um, so, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, I focus on what I need to do. Um, everyone as cricketers, you know, we have our aspirations. Uh, we want to <coughs> achieve certain goals. And I don't think it's put any pressure on me, no. Um, you know, I, because I know exactly what I want to get out of the game. So. It shouldn't put any pressure on me what they do. Um, I guess, you know, when you do admire uh, another sportsman, it does inspire you. So it's, it's nice to see people do well because it, it can inspire you. Um, but I don't think it puts pressure on me. Um, and I think I've played this game long enough to know that when things happen for you, they happen for you. Um, sometimes you bowl like rubbish. And then you pick up a Pfeiffer. And uh, it's, I know it's a cliche, but <laughs> I've experienced that. And sometimes you bowl well, and you, know, you, don't, you don't get as many wickets as you're hoping for, or you know, uh, you're just out of luck. Uh, catches are being dropped. Um, it happens. Um, and that's, that's really frustrating. Um, KG, uh, you said about uh, f uh, needing a few things to click, um, and in that regard, um, uh, how important is it for uh, Hashi Mamla to kind of rediscover, I mean, his form, and uh, how is he going through this phase, you know, possibly at the twilight of his career? Um, it's important for a lot of us to click in the team, and Hashi is an important figure. Everybody knows that, he knows that. Um, so we do rely on him, uh, just as we rely on everyone in the team. But I guess you could say we rely on him more. I don't think uh, it's extra pressure for him. I think you know he copes with it. I think he's a really, really uh, sound. He's got a sound mind. He's yeah. He's just a balanced individual. Um, so I think he knows what he has to do. Um, as a teammate, you know, we're just there to support him. We know that uh, he, can, he can, you know, produce magic out there on the field. And he's been showing signs of it in the, in the warm-up games. And uh, we're really hopeful that he can really come off. Um, we're working hard. We're working in the nets. We're planning. We're doing everything that we can in our power and he's doing everything he can. So, um, God willing, hopefully. 
KG, can you talk a, a little bit about Buren and how he's uh, slotted into the into the camps since he arrived? He's obviously a guy who, from the outside looking in, looks like he could have a, a big role to play, certainly on Monday, given the, the injury situation. Uh, Buren is a really great, good bowler. I think I rate him a lot. Um, coming in as a lefty as well, it's variety. Um, and I think he's he's got a lot of skill and he's played international cricket before, so he knows what it's about. Um, I've, I've, I've played you know, with him um, ever since I started playing um, professional cricket and against him as well. So I've seen enough to for me to say that I'm I'm really confident with him being in the team. Um, and, you know, he always gives it his all. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, KG, before the start of the tournament, you said how fast bowlers are really competitive and you kind of like, you, you look at other bowlers like Bumrah and, and Archer. Do you pick yourself up more when you're coming up against a team like the West Indies who have like such a, 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 a big cluster of, of tall, scary fast bowlers. Do you kind of pick yourself up for that? Mm, I'm not focused on their fast bowlers. The batsmen should be focused on their fast bowlers. I'm focused on their batters because my job is to get their batters out. Um, I don't know. I don't know what must I think about their, their bowlers going into the game. I'm, I'm not thinking too much about their bowlers. It's not my job to think about their bowlers. It's not, yeah, I'm a bowler. <laughs> but um, I guess that it's nice to watch when they play, you know. Um, they've got some nice pace, got good pace. Youngsters, West Indies have always had uh, fast bowlers. Um, you know, everyone knows about the, the marshals, the holdings. So it's very much I would say a culture, you know, a culture of fast bowling in the West Indies, and um, yeah, it's it's nice to see. It's nice to see. It's good for cricket. It's good to see, you know, fast bowlers um, still, 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 still around, and uh, especially for West Indies cricket, it's a good thing. So, yeah, that's it.